you already know we love sniping in Fortnite. And with the addition to this ping system, which is essentially a rangefinder for me, 50 meters, you can now range your target before shooting to get a better estimation of where you're gonna need to hold off in terms of elevation for your reticle. So I have distances all the way up to 450 meters. So I'm gonna show you how I ping, how I calculated where to shoot, and I collected dope. You're probably asking what dope means. What it stands for in the long range shooting world is data of previous engagements. If you guys did not know, I was sniper qualified in the military, so I know a little bit about long range shooting, and I'm gonna share with you what I collected in terms of dope in Fortnite. This is gonna be your traditional reticle in Fortnite across both sniper rifle platforms, the Bolt and the Barrett 50 cal. So what I've done here is split these up into quarters, okay? So everything marked in this blue font is actually not marked on your optic, but the black marks are. So we're gonna think about four quarters in a dollar. So 25 cents, 50 cents. The next one's gonna be 75 cents, which is between 50 and the next one obviously is $1. So 125 and now, this green rectangle is gonna show you you're never gonna to have to aim any higher than this right here at this one, one $1.25 is what we're gonna call it. You're never gonna to have to aim higher than that. So let me show you what I mean when I show you guys the dope that I collected. Obviously at different ranges, this is going to change, but if I tell you that I want you to aim center mass, dead center in the face, you're gonna aim right here on his head. Fortnite zeroes their scope at roughly 50 meters. So if you point right here, 50 meters, no elevation hold off, you're gonna hit center mass right in the head. Now, if I tell you guys, I want you to punch him in the face with 25 cents, you guys know that 0.25 is right between that hash mark. So essentially, right in the middle of the face is right there at 0.25. If I tell you, I want you to shoot somebody given their distance at 50 cents, dead center of the head, you're gonna go to this hash mark and this is where you're gonna actually line up your reticle given this black line here. Now, the further you get, the smaller your target's going to get. So if we go to something like, if I tell you, you we're wearing, we have a 400 meter snipe I want you guys to hit, okay? And you're gonna have to put one dollar right on top of his head like a hat. This is what I'm looking for. If I tell you guys to give him a hat and I give you a number, that's where it's gonna be. So a one dollar hat, for 400 meters, the bullet is going to drop right here into your point of impact. So guys, like I stated before, center mass of this optic is gonna be 50 meters. We're gonna range this 50 meters, easy. There's no compensation for elevation there or distance. Point of aim, point of impact. If you're ranging here, it's, okay, that was a bad reading. 101 meters, so we're gonna give him a 25 cent like I showed you guys, 0.25 right in the face. Punching my man for 25 cents. Boom. Moving on to 150 meters. We're gonna give him a 50 cent punch in the face, okay? 50 cents is this small hash mark that I have labeled there. Right in the middle of the face. That's an easy one. That's a gimme. 200 meters, we're gonna take that same 50 cent hash mark and we're gonna put it right on top of his head. We're gonna give him a 50 cent hat. That's how much it cost. Easy peasy. 250 meters, a 75 cent punch. Now, we know that 50 is right where we just shot, so 75 is gonna be halfway between that and the next big hash mark, which is gonna be $1, and we're gonna use that right after this. So 75 cent punch to the face. Bam, easy. That was a 250 meter target. That's pretty far in Fortnite, pretty far. And these are all stationary targets, so if they're moving, good luck, okay? 300 meters, we're looking at $1, but we're putting it right on his shoulders, right on the top of his shoulders, right below his chin. A $1 pair of shoulder pads for my mans. Easy. Now, after 300, it gets really, really precise with where you're holding off for elevation. So, if you're shooting past 300 meters, GG, because that's pretty far. So, this is roughly the same as 300. We just held at $1 on his shoulders. Now we're holding at $1 on its face, so a little bit higher. We should get this here. Bam, a $1 punch to the face. Now 400 meters, this one is very, very picky. If you don't get it right on the hat, so this is a $1 hat. 
This one's tough to kind of see because the further you get, the smaller your target gets. So getting these adjustments gets a little tougher. So a $1 hat, I'm gonna say about right here. I missed. I missed the head at least. And I guarantee when I scope back in, he's gonna disappear. It does it every time. Why do you do that? Is this a bug? Like that's a 400 meter shot. I don't know what the actual distance is in game. I was told, I believe, uh, recently on one of my live streams, that the max distance actually in game is 300 meters. I don't think that's true. I've only hit, I believe 297 is the longest snipe I've ever gotten in Fortnite. 297 meters, and that's just playing Team Rumble. Just, you know, it's not like a super sticky situation where you, if you die, like you lose, but obviously I can respawn. But I just, I try to get myself as far, as far away from my targets in Team Rumble and just try to hit them. So now that our targets are respawned, because like I said, you have to be in their proximity to get them to respawn, which kind of sucks. But a $1 hat, this is tough, man. It's hard to see once you get your actual vertical crosshair on top of them. So $1 hat, I'm gonna try a little bit higher than that, maybe. 157, I don't know if it's a bug. Cause as soon as I zoom in again, it's gonna go away every time. I don't know why. Let's go reset this. So we're looking at roughly a $1, you know, right on top of their head shot at 400 meters. But at 456, or excuse me, 455, which is the max distance, at least in this creative server, um, that actually impacts the target, it, it, hits, it hits headshots at 455. But at 400, I always get that bug where... I'll, I'll never get like the headshot, but it'll disappear afterwards. Really strange. So the only difference here in terms of hold off is you're gonna be aiming a dollar twenty-five right at their head, because that's like I've said, that's the max distance I've got an impact on. So four fifty-five at a target. When I take this away, so a dollar twenty-five. This is a far shot. Let's see what we got here. Dollar twenty-five. That gives me a headshot, but for whatever reason, 400 meters, no dice. It's always some kind of bug to where it you get the damage after you reload and look into your optic. So let me range my target and then walk back until I'm at 456. So 450, three, four, five, six. So we just hit at a dollar 25 on his head, right in his face. So if I do a dollar 25 again. I'm actually going to aim a little lower for you guys just to make sure it does impact. Look. Did it work at 456? It didn't work earlier. Maybe maybe my whole life is a lie. Let's go to 457. I could not get impact on 456 earlier. Only 455, so a dollar 25. At 440 or 457 meter shot, a dollar 25 on his face. What do we got? That wasn't a headshot. But I'm telling you guys, earlier when I was testing this, when I wasn't recording, I was not getting anything over 450. It was making the impact, like the small little like star that appears when you actually hit a target. I was not getting that earlier. So maybe you can shoot further. Now I need to test this. So we got displayable damage at 457. Can we push it to 458? Seven, eight. So we're gonna aim a dollar twenty-five again on his head, four fifty-eight. Oh, how far can I go? I still got all this stairway to go. Let's keep walking up and go to four fifty-nine. Okay, we're gonna push back to four fifty-nine here. Nine at a dollar twenty-five still. Doink. Okay, four fifty-nine. As you can see. It makes the impact visual, but there's no damage. So I'm gonna aim a little lower just to make sure that I'm not missing my target. So let's kind of aim a little bit lower than 125, just so we would hit the body at least. Let's do this. So that should have hit. So let's move to 458 and see if there's a change here. So we're ranging 458, cancel marker, $1.25. What do we got? Fortnite. 
now 458's not working. You see what I mean? I'm gonna say 455 in general is in terms of like RNG distance, like <laughs> this is 457. Okay, so 457 works, but 458 also worked before. I would say 450 is like the number that's going to be consistent. Even even 455. I've tested 455 multiple times. Anything beyond that is a little random if it actually impacts. You guys saw we shot to 458, but now when we respawned, we wouldn't hit until what? 457, 456. So just to reiterate, guys, 50 meters. 100 this will be 150 200 giving a 50 cent hat 250 75 cents punch to the face 300 giving some shoulder pads for a dollar shoulder pads for a dollar easy 350 a one dollar punch to the face his face is right here that will give us a headshot 400 is very i don't know why 400 is so delicate for a one dollar hat but i'm telling you it's super delicate and then when i zoom in again he disappears and it, it's like i did actually crit him so i'm not sure about that and for 125 this is roughly where you're aiming for 450 meters so i hope that didn't confuse you guys obviously it's going to take a little bit to remember i'm going to keep the overlay here for you guys so as long as you divide up your reticle and with that green rectangle like i showed you earlier you're never gonna aim anything past a dollar 25. you're never gonna you're not gonna hit anything past a dollar 25. so all these other hash marks down here are just worthless completely worthless until fortnite lets us shoot further so i'm gonna try this 400 meter one more time for an ender it's gonna be a one dollar hat i was way off see a one dollar hat at 400 meters I've done this before with a headshot. I just, I get one, one, I don't get the full crit and now he's gonna disappear. So 400 is suspicious. As you can see, I didn't even pull my trigger there. But with that being said, guys, like in the video is always appreciated. I will put this custom map code below in the description. Like in the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. And we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.